Greetings YouTube, happy Sunday. Welcome back to the channel as I have just purchased the final of two purchases for this video, the Thronebreaker Daily Special. You know, uh, the question has uh, been asked of me several times recently. Prof, do you think that the Thronebreaker Daily Specials and especially the Paragon Daily Specials are still A to A plus graded materials now that seven stars are in the game? And I say unequivocally, yes. 1,000%. And you might say, how? How do you think that? Why do you think that? Well, first off, the six-star shards are still so valuable, as are, especially on Sunday, the level three revives. We cannot get those uh, from anywhere. And the level three revives will help you. And of course, if you use seven stars, that's, statistically speaking, just higher health and attack pools. So percentage-based revives help the higher the health and the higher the attack. And so those revives are actually only more valuable now that your champions have higher health and attack even before taking them to rank two. But the other reason why these are always going to be valuable is the, the stamp part of it. I have just about half of a uh, tier three off and half of a tier six basic left to take my first ever seven star to rank two, which I know it's interesting that was almost universally the vote. And now that we're kind of coming off the high of seven star madness, as I like to say, there's a few people out there who are saying, Prof, I think most seven stars are kind of overrated. I don't know if I would do it. And if I didn't use a uh, seven star domino every day, I absolutely would be taking up uh, a six star instead. But you can see that uh, I'm just one tier six basic and one tier three alpha away from making it possible thanks in huge large part to the seven star celebration event and uh and in terms of the uh tier six basic i've got about half of one left and the tier three alpha about half of one as well and the beautiful thing about that as i claim my catalyst the beautiful thing about that is that i've also yet to spend my glory and uh, for the reset week, and I've yet to reset, uh, spend my loyalty. Okay, I highly doubt that the Thronebreakers will beat the Mythic Nexus, but it has happened before. I view these as the ultimate bonus, for sure. All right, first one. And look at that. I can't tell you the last time I got a six star out of my first. Wouldn't it be crazy if that's the only six star we saw today was in the first Cavalier Nexus crystal. Remember, these are like a 1% drop rate. Not today. Sam Wilson. We also got a five star, which I don't think. We got, we got a four star and a three star last week. So this six star, oh, so beautiful. Let's freaking go. All right. Beautiful. Sunday Nexus Luck is back. Let's just throw this one right on the reel. We've never done two six stars. It's almost impossible. Uh, and here we have a five star. What a start. What a start. I am so happy, even though you can't see... My face. Look at that. That would be uh, gr good luck for the Mythic Nexus, but of course, those were the Cav Nexus. I'm going to kind of laugh, but also be disappointed if these two Mythic Nexus don't equal at least one six star, because then again, the Cavalier Crystals are showing up the Mythic Nexus Crystals. I'm also excited for the day that Wolverine will be in this, but uh, that won't be for a while, like months and months. All right, first one. We got a six star in the Cav Nexus. Will the Mythic Nexus respond in kind? No, it will not. Wow. Okay, so, so far, the Cav Nexus is winning in terms of luck. We're going to pop the last one and hope that this isn't one of the weirdest crystal openings of the year. Four, three, two, one, team pop. Show us a six star. And what do you know? Not a six star in sight. Besides this uh, 
tier six ISO bundle of trash. So the Cavalier Nexus. This is still an A plus value, by the way. I also got to make sure to claim my daily crystal. What what? Um, I do have six of these, which are going to most likely be all six star shards. And they are. Well, what can I say? Thank you, Cavalier Nexus Crystal. You did better than the Mythic. Still an A-plus value. And I continue to remind you in this that once you've hit the seven threshold of Thronebreaker, and especially Paragon, you can get yourself one of these, which gives you a small amount of Tier 3 Alpha and Tier 6 Basic. But... The Paragon one, much more generous for everything. Tier 3 Alpha and Tier 6 Basic, kind of. But 6 Star Shards, 20,000, you kidding me? And uh, 6 Star 6 Stones, 25. Uh, this thing, it's not a selector, so I would just completely ignore it. But compare that uh, to even right now with the 1,000 price for 10,000 or 35 bucks for double that. I mean, it's hilarious how much better the Paragon offer is for stamps when you collect them. Uh, have a great rest of your week on YouTube. Thanks for watching.